My name is Katie London and this is Project Here Here New York City. To give you a sense of my background, I used to make games and Here Here's research question is looking at the impact of using social mechanics and character design as a way to drive engagement with data. And the data set that we're using is New York City's 311 non-emergency data set. So those are things like any resident giving a phone call, sending an email or texting when a street lights out or a fire hydrant's running. So we take that data on a daily basis and we generate opinionated status updates for all of the neighborhoods across the five boroughs of New York City. So those are things that end up looking like the Upper West Side today is feeling delighted because there's no dust complaints, no reports of a fire alarm or highway concerns, which means that they probably had some of those things recently. And we'll also give you some contextual information. So the biggest issue for the Upper West Side a year ago today was a high of 18 heating complaints. And then we also link you to the community boards for your neighborhood right in the interface. Now the primary way that users will interact with this is by subscribing to a daily email summary or by following one of the neighborhood's Twitter feeds and sort of getting that information in the flow of their day. We're trying to drive light engagement and create new rituals around connecting to data on a daily basis. So we also generate awards or superlatives or a leaderboard, if you will, for the neighborhoods. So today, the Upper West Side is the most adamant humanitarian. And you can see some of the other ones, biggest health, public health advocate, biggest trash talker, greatest animal defender. They're basically procedurally generated cartoons based on data, and they're kind of fun. But what we're hoping to do is by optimizing them for sharing is to start conversations about those things. Because under the hood, they're pretty serious. They're things like the neighborhood that has the most complaints around recycling, litter, trash, that sort of thing. And perhaps that data needs to be contested, or maybe there's efforts that are happening already in the communities to deal with those things. And what we're hoping to do is jumpstart a conversation around that. So to give you a sense of how this is working under the hood, Hood, um, Project Sentient Data is a server and REST API that allows you to create a character that cares about any set of data streams. So as an example, our 42 neighborhoods in New York City are each different characters with different personalities and they care about around 120 different types of data on a daily basis. So Southeast Bronx is one example, and one of the measures or data types that it cares about are the rodent reports for the Southeast Bronx. And in fact, that character has a desired state for it to be one or below the rodent reports on a daily basis. We also can assign it a personality. We have a set of default personalities that we can assign, or you can design your own. And then based on the pace, trend, and position of the data, we have a new calculated emotion. So when it's one or below, it might be feeling glad or content. And then as it's trending up, it might get suspicious or feel desperate or impatient, that sort of thing. Basically, the system enables you to use any sort of data stream, whether it's Internet of Things, network data streams, data feeds from APIs. But really what we're trying to do is enable you to use character design as a way to drive new forms of interaction around that data. This is Project Sentient Data, and I'm Katie London. Thanks.